and I'm back with a tutorial slash review I suppose. I'm here with my coffee. Um, up again early this morning recording for y'all. I can't get the sticker off the bottom but that's like my favorite cup in the whole world. Okay so I'm back again with another dupe. I do not have the high end to compare this one with because let's be real your girl can't afford to get every single palette that comes out. So what I have here has been very hyped. It has sold out at least three to four times that I know of and it's only been released for like two weeks. I have the Aphrodite palette by Bad Habit. These are the same people that made this rosé palette that I featured in a video. I think like these are probably uploaded about a week apart. So we already saw that this brand has some really great quality. So now what we're going to do is see if this eyeshadow palette performs well since I can't compare it. I can't honestly tell you if it's better or worse, but I can tell you if it's something that I would use on a daily basis that has what I consider to be a uh, high quality feel to it. Um, I look really rough. I don't know how the fallout from this is. The reviews on it on YouTube and such at this time are kind of limited. So I don't know what to expect necessarily except that I've heard that this is incredible. So it comes in a little sleeve like this. And this is how it looks on the front. Now I do know that the Huda Beauty Rose Gold, which is what this is a dupe for, is see-through right here. So you can see all the colors. But since this isn't, that means we get a mirror. Say hi, camera. And we get all of these beautiful colors. I have swatched them. This one comes up a little bit flaky. Um, but I mean, it is a $10 palette. So what do you expect? But I may try that on my eyes just to see. Um, from my swatches yesterday, when I first got it in, it looked like this actually was you know, a really highly pigmented palette. Now the question just lies in, is it gonna blend and is it gonna stay? And as always, I'll try to put in the description kind of how well the product stayed throughout the day. I'm not gonna do any check-ins for this video, but I will put that in the description for y'all. And if I forget, just remind me in the comments. And before I get started, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. Uh, be sure that you're getting all my content. I'm going to start trying to do a lot more dupes because I've kind of come to realize that I know I can't afford to keep buying a whole lot of high-end makeup right now. And so I want to show y'all because I'm sure there's people out there like me who want affordable options for high-end products. So I'm going to try to do a little more of this as opposed to just tutorials with expensive palettes that you may or may not have. <clears throat> So first I'm going to go in with Koi, that's what it's called in this palette. And yes guys, I know my nails are horrible, just a thing. I'm already primed with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I did that before I came on here. That is the only thing I've done to my face. And I'm going to do this quick eye look and then I'm going to hop off here and do all my face makeup and let y'all see how it plays out. And this does have a little bit of fallout and you can see right here just from digging my brush into it a little bit there's some little dips in it but it's not horrible. Okay so what I want to go into next because for work yesterday I did a red eye look so I don't want to do it again today. Um, next I'm going to go into this one right here called Passion. And I know in the viewfinder it looks a little red, but in person it looks kind of taupey almost. It's really pretty though. I like it. And I'm just going to put this all in my crease. And I'm going to try to build this up a little bit. This is a lighter color, but I want this to be my good transition to shade. And now I'm going to shut up and speed through this other eye for y'all real quick. Okay. Um, so next I want to dip into... 
I don't want to do a red eye look again today, but like I really kind of do. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just going to do it. Okay, I'm going to dip into Jealousy next. And just so y'all can know, I am going to try to cover a lot more of this brand in particular. I find their dupes to be really good. Um, I need to know what y'all think. They're coming out with a dupe for Subculture. And since I do have that palette, I kind of want to do like a comparison on the fallout, the quality, the blending, and all of that. So let me know what y'all think because that's a video that I'm actually really interested to find out how it looks. They also have a dupe for Moonchild on the app and the Alice in Wonderland palette, which I also have. I've just actually never used it. So let me know if you'd like to see that down there. Which one you want first, because even though they're cheap, I'm still on a budget. Oh, what did I say? Okay, yeah. I'm going to put Jealousy <clears throat> in my crease, and I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to speed this up so we can get through this video. So now that I have used Jealousy, which I'm going to go ahead and put on, now I'm actually going to do my lower lash line last because I have a different plan for it. I don't want to do it so smoked out today. So next I'm going to hop in here into Seduction. This is like a really deep mahogany and we're going to take it like a little more on the outside and lower. Okay, so what I'm seeing is that this is actually blending out pretty good. Uh, the messed up shape is definitely my fault. And that's why I always go in and clean up my eye looks when I'm done. But this is blending really well so far. <clears throat> I'm going to do something brave. And I'm going to go ahead and take Heartbreak. This is the black color right here. And I'm just going to dip it into the outer corner, or well, that's what I'm going to try. And I am going to tap this one off because, as we all know, black is scary when you're trying to do eyeshadow because if you get too much, like you just can't save it. There's, there's no way. So I'm going to do this in kind of circular motions. Y'all can see how I'm doing this. And this is just to deepen up this outer corner right there. I'm going to pull it in just a tiny bit and just pat it onto the eyelid. So that's going to be how that's going to look. Now I'm going to hurry up and do this other eye. I'm really struggling on this left eye and this is nothing on the palette I just I can't even see to do this right now I think it's just too early I'm adding more black because that'll totally fix the problem and what I'm actually gonna do is go back in with that seduction color and kind of layer it over 
the black and see if that'll calm it down, which I don't think it will. But that's okay. We'll just build this up a little more over here. And I'll do my fancy trick at the end. And once I clean this up, it's going to look a lot better. <clears throat> okay, so that is it for my crease. Uh, whew, I have a very, very important decision to make. But before I do that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this different blending brush and we are going to go back into Koi right there. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to brush it over my crease. And this is going to take away a lot of my depth. But since I did screw up over here, this is also going to diffuse that down some. Which is very important right now. Because I tried. But it's just not very good. I'm just going to have to clean that up a lot <clears throat> in a minute. But what I'm going to do now is dip in. And I so don't want to be stereotypical, but I just think I have to. Okay, I'm going to be me. I'm going to go into Spark. This is a really pretty goal. I swatched it yesterday. And it's pretty. And I'm just going to pat this on to my eyelid and I've heard that this doesn't stick this is one thing I have heard is that this doesn't stick well unless you use like glitter glue or something but so far so good for me it's actually sticking very well and this is just something I always do if you're big on using brushes, that's fine. But to me, whenever you're trying to lay a color down on the lid, especially a glitter, it always works better for me if I use my finger. But yeah, that's, that's super pretty. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go in because since I diffused that, I lost a whole lot of my pigment on my right eye here. And I'm going to go in and deepen that up a little more again. Just so I can get that dramatic look back. And I'm going to try to blend this a little bit over here just to get rid of the harsh lines that the glitter kind of made. And the last thing I'm going to do is dip into teas. That's right here. Ooh, did I just I almost gouge it out in my little beauty color? And I'm just going to take teas on a flat brush and I'm just going to put it right up here and I'm not going to really do my eyebrows today I'm just going to fill them in a little bit and I'm going to take T's on my finger to put it into my inner corner okay so let me hop off of here and before I do there actually wasn't a ton of fallout um I mean there was obviously some like right here which a lot of that is my fault and some of that is dark circle so I'm gonna get off here clean up throw on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in a second you guys all done guys um so I just went in and I did my foundation, contour, highlight, lips, concealer, all that stuff. No lashes today because I'm just going to work. But I use some Monsoir Big Mascara, which is good. The only downside I have to it 
is how hard it is to get off. I have a video on that somewhere farther down on my channel. And I used a ColourPop lippy in Clueless with a free lip liner that they sent me because my order was so late. Also tried to contour my nose for the first time in forever. And I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but we will see. And keeping in time with this video, I did use my Bad Habit Highlight Palette. <clears throat> and I used the color Cheers right here. And it is super blinding. I have it on my nose and my cupid's bow as well. But that highlight is incredible and it wears so good. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you want my end of the video opinion, um, this Aphrodite palette is absolutely incredible. It is completely worth the $10. I mean, how often can you find a palette for $10 that performs like this. Now, I don't know if it's on par with the Huda Beauty Rose Gold. I can't tell you that. That wouldn't be a fair statement for me to make. But this is definitely a palette that I will reach for often and that if I need to replace it, it's not going to break the bank to do it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Keep in mind that if you do want this palette, if you have an iPhone, download the Hush app. It is $10 straight up no shipping comes in in two days like it's easy you just click it check out done it's going to show up at your doorstep you have a beautiful palette and it's wonderful if you don't have an iphone you can go from your computer or your android to shophush.com but you will be charged a 4.95 shipping so if you have a friend with an iphone i would buddy up and get them to order it for you if you can so i hope y'all enjoyed my video be sure you're subscribed down below. Blah, can't talk. And uh, if you have any suggestions for what you want to see next, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a good day.